Hello there, it's Abdul here from IG. Today's short video will show you how to place a trade on the IG platform. When you first log on, you'll be greeted by this page on my IG with your details and your relevant accounts. For today's example, I'll be showing you how to place a trade using the Spreadbet platform. So once you're ready, click on the open platform button. This will take you directly through. Now, when you first log on, you'll be greeted by a blank canvas in your workspace and a list of different markets you can trade from here. For this example, we'll be using GBP USD. So you can find that by clicking on FX. Alternatively, you can always use the search option as well. So once I click on that, it will open up the chart and the deal ticket. Just because I want to make sure this is clear, I'll click on Add to Workspace to pop it out so I can maximize it on the screen. Now, here we have the deal ticket, as mentioned. The first thing you'll need to decide to place a trade is in which direction you'll be going in. So I've clicked on Buy for this example, and for size, I'll choose one. Now, on a spread bet account, one simply means I am risking one pound for every point movement. Current price roughly for GBP USD is 115, 15 and a half. So once the market goes up to let's say to 15 to 20, that's a five point movement. So it's the last whole number that we're looking at. Now, what's very important, especially if you are new to trading, is risk management. And one of the key tools you have available to you is the stop loss. So if I type in 50, that means I am risking. 50 points or 50 pip movement because it's currently set to points away. You can also change this to GBP loss. To get an under further understanding of what that exactly means, you can always check these figures below. So this first one is what level corresponds to 50 pips below. That's currently roughly 114.65. And next to that in red is what that loss would equate to. So given it's 50 points that I'm risking, with one pound a point, that would mean a 50 pound loss. The next option is a limit, which is the opposite. It's a take profit, it's a target. So in this example, I will type in 100. So as you can see below here, again, I have a level here, which is 100 points above the current market price. And it shows me I stand to gain 100 pounds in profit. Now, if you prefer these graphically, you can see here on the chart, this is where the current market is at the moment. This is the stop, this is the limit with the same corresponding figures. However, you can also amend this via the charts by simply clicking on it and dragging it around to your preference. And this will also show you what your risk to reward ratio is. And finally, at the bottom, we have the margin requirements. So this is the bare minimum you'll need in the account to be able to open up this position and is how much you'll need to maintain to keep this position running. For major markets and FX, the margin requirements is 3.3%. But if you do wish to find out, click on info, margin requirements, and you can see the relevant figures here. Now, once you're happy with everything that you have in there, go down to place deal and click on this button. Once you do, and it goes through successfully, you'll see the deal is confirmed with the relevant numbers shown here. If you want to keep up to date with your positions, you can always click on here on the left hand side and you'll see a live reflection of how your trade is doing in regards to the profit and loss. But it also gives you the opportunity to amend any stops and limits you want to at any stage. If you want to close out the position manually, you can always click on this close button. Once you do, it will assume initially that you want to close the whole position, but you always can change this amount to close potentially a partial amount. Click on the close button again, and this will confirm the closure of that position. So what I've shown you is a live position. You can also do orders, which I've done earlier on the FTSE 100, current price is 72.77 and I've requested an order to buy at 7,000. So that's how you place a trade and an order with IG.